Backyard budget ideas. We're going to talk to you a lot about how to save money in your backyard this season. We have lots of ideas for you right now. Enjoy. So what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Classic question, but I want you to think about that as you start thinking about your budget ideas for your backyard. So what comes first, the structure, it's a hard surface. We're gonna to talk to you a lot about both of those and budget ideas at all different budget levels, but especially from the lowest point and up to some medium price point ranges on both of those items. Here we go. The biggest thing you're probably wanting to do is expand your patio surface. Now there's lots of different ways that we can do this. The most budget friendly way is with gravel. So gravel, and it's amazing, it looks really good. You can compact it. Here's some examples of the way those look, but compacted gravel does a great job and at a very cost effective budget. I also wanna let you know that there is decomposed granite. Depending on where you live in the world, you can do decomposed granite, pretty much the exact same thing as gravel but it's just granite, go ahead and put that in, compact that, and it's beautiful. Now, a lot of people think concrete's the best. Now, concrete, in my opinion, cracks, and it becomes something where it's not very attractive, but you could do a mix of the two. You could do some gravel, and you could do some concrete mixed in the gravel, and here's some examples of that. So going up that budget ladder, we have synthetic lawn or turf. Now, this is a great alternative, synthetic lawn. They're very strong. They've come a long ways these days and they give you a beautiful hard surface. Look at how nice these look. This is a very budget friendly cost alternative for a hard surface. So think about synthetic lawn. I love the way it looks and you can do a lot of, you can get really creative with the way this is installed and it looks in your backyard. And then of course the upper echelon of budget is pavers. I love pavers because they're segmented, they're individual, they have a lot of different stylistic looks. I have a ton of examples here on pavers. Now remember if you can do it yourself, this is a budget friendly alternative. Remember, an individual paver is not that expensive, but it is a lot of work to install it. So definitely wanna do some education before you try to pull off pavers by yourself. So now we're talking about covers. So with the cover, it's important. Many of us either need shade relief or we need just rain relief or even snow relief. So the lowest budget level that I would recommend because everybody wants an outdoor room is a pergola. Now there, you can do some shade cell options, but really an, you really wanna think about a pergola because they're inexpensive, you can do it yourself. Uh, four posts, build a very simple or a very elaborate pergola yourself, and all of a sudden you have a gorgeous outdoor room. Now the next level of a pergola, if you're talking up the budget level, now there's what we call shade effect. These are not the least expensive, but they are a nice option because you're not putting a solid surface. You're given the ability to close it and open it. So think about these, they're very nice. And here's the next budget level, if we're going up that budget level ring, is a lean-to structure. Now, of course, that's gonna be at the higher end of things, but it is a solid surface. You, you could do a corrugated roof, which is very inexpensive, by the way. You get it at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, and really, you have a beautiful outdoor room. So there you go, chicken or the egg, what comes first to you? Is it the cover? Is it the hard surface? I'll let you decide on that, but we're gonna have a lot more budget-friendly ideas right now. Okay, now we get to get into the fun stuff of your backyard low budget ideas. And it's either a grill station, a grill island, or a backyard bar. Now you can do these at a budget level and they're gonna just change your backyard life. I truly mean that. All right, so grill stations, what you do around that, that really matters. You can do a little cart, you can have a little built-in area to the side. Now part of a grill station could even be some of the tabletop versions that you see out there. They're everywhere. Here's an example of a little pizza oven that we did on top of a grill station that's just all store bought and it's really at a budget friendly price in a very nice little small backyard. Just perfect, it's very convenient. Right outside of your door, you have this beautiful grill station. Now the next budget friendly idea is to go ahead and build a grill island. Now these are usually built in units so you have to think about that. But really, again, if you can do it yourself, these are not very expensive. Really, I build mine out of CMU block, so you can go to Home Depot, I think they're $1.50 a piece, and you can build, you know, mix up the mortar and you can build this kitchen yourself, put some stone on it, or even a lot of these have their own stone these days, 
and you can have a beautiful outdoor kitchen at a very budget-friendly price. Next item we wanna talk about is an outdoor bar. Now, you don't have to do a built-in bar like we have tons of those built-in bars. They're really pretty, but really you can do a budget bar at a very economical price and you can just buy one. Buy a bar, a couple of bar stools. We're not talking much. Do a bar because people are magnets to bars. They're gonna love that outdoor bar. Add the grill island, grab the, you know, do the grill station, whichever one you choose. Add the bar for sure. And that backyard bar gives you more places to sit, gives you two to four extra spots at a bar, very low price. It's gonna give you another destination in the backyard space, even in a small area, because they take up such a small amount of space. So a bar for your budget backyard is a must. All right, now we're talking about an absolute must. We just talked about the bar, but a true absolute must for your budget backyard is a fire pit. Please, please, please do a fire pit. You have so many different budget levels for a fire pit. You can do the fire tables. Here's a couple examples of a fire table. It's a fire pit, but it's a fire table. So let's start with a fire pit, just a traditional fire pit. You can either do propane, you can do wood burning, or you can do natural gas. Of course, the, the wood burning is gonna be the least expensive, or you can do a propane fire pit. This is what I'd probably recommend just because it's so convenient and you know, you'll have to do a little tube. You're gonna probably have to conceal that over a carpet or a rug or something, but really these are great. Turn them on and you have a fire pit instantly. It puts out great amount of heat. Here's the other option is obviously the natural gas that just hooks right to your home gas. These are great, but they're more expensive. These are more of a DIY project too. For the most part, you're gonna to have to build this. I wanna just say, this is not an expensive thing to do it yourself. Again, you can get the CNU block, buy a burner, they're like 80 bucks, I think. And then you can build this whole item. You might need to get some help from a gas contractor, but other than that, this could be done at a very budget-friendly price. Here's some examples of us building these to let you see how to do that and then some of the finished projects of what it looks like built in. So I wanna say, if you're thinking about a backyard and a budget, you probably aren't going to wanna hire somebody for a good backyard design. But I do wanna say that if you do, I would recommend hiring us. It's going to save you money. That might sound weird, but you're not gonna make mistakes. So hire us, we'd be happy to design the space for you. And if you don't want to do a whole 3D design with us, you can still buy our design course. So the design course will walk you through all of the principles of backyard design, and that's going to be very budget friendly for you. you a little bit of effort on your part, but that's going to give you the education you need to design the space for yourself. Or of course, you can meet with me and that link will be below. That's also at a more budget friendly rate than the 3D design. So lots of different options, but think through the space design the space prior to doing anything and it will save you a lot of money. All right, now we're talking water features. Water features to me has a spot in my heart. When I first started work, I did water features. That was my specialty was water features and I love a water feature. I've had one in every backyard I've ever had. since. So I would strongly recommend a backyard water feature. Now you can do these at lots of different budget levels. You can do a fountain or a bubbler. Now you can either buy these fountains, they're pre-made, they're pre-assembled and just buy it and you put it in your backyard plug it in and it makes that sound and it's decent. Or you can start to build these a little bit of do-it-yourself. You can turn a flower pot, very inexpensive flower pot, and you can turn this very easily into a beautiful bubbler. Now they fill up and then that just has this wonderful gurgle that comes out of these flower pot water features. Now part of those, you can actually do a little spigot where it goes in. Again, this is very easy, very simple uh, mechanisms behind that. Really, you have a pump at the bottom and it's just pumping it up to that fountain and it goes into the, the same water feature or that same flower pot and does the same thing. So in addition to these flower pot water features, you could do the same thing with a boulder. Grab a boulder, you, you see a lot of them with more of a column or you could just grab a boulder. And I like the boulders because they just have these like gnarls and they just kind of look nice as the water's kind of cascading down these boulders. But these again are very inexpensive. Go to your local rock quarry place. A lot of times they can core any boulder you decide and then all of a sudden that becomes a really nice, very natural looking bubbler in your backyard. 
By the way, I just want to add this to a bubbler is they're great for just giving you the peace in your backyard space and they take up a very small footprint. And if you live in the city, it's going to do a great job of kind of drowning out that city noise. So a water feature is going to be great in a lot of different levels. So going up that budget level, you could do a water feature with more of a cascading waterfall or creek. And you can mimic these, what you see in nature, and it looks very nice. Now, this is starting to get a little bit more technical, but I think it's something you can still do it yourself. You're going to need to get a rubber liner for this. And then you're going to basically make sure that no water can get out. So go ahead and fold that up and put the rocks in around that. But just a little bit of education can give you a beautiful backyard water feature or creek style water feature like you're seeing here. And then another water feature that we recommend is a pond water feature. Now a pond water feature is great because again, it's just not hard. Dig a hole in your backyard, but you could then put in fish, little goldfish. You could even do a koi pond. I know this sounds like it's expensive, but it's just not. You can dig the hole yourself, get rid of the soil, put a liner in, fill it with water, do all the proper balancing of that water and you can put fish in there and it's not expensive and it's going to really attract nature to your backyard. Now our next backyard budget item is a comfort item and it's a hot tub or a sauna. Now you're thinking, what? Budget level? But yes, you can get some good priced hot tubs out there. Of course, you might need to make some concessions on some other of the items that we've talked about. But if you want a hot tub, by the way, I loved my hot tub and it's something I craved when I was very young and I had to have it. It was another must, must haves in my backyard. So you might have that in your own backyard. You might just need to have that backyard hot tub and they're wonderful and there's a lot of different budget friendly choices. Okay, and now we're talking about saunas and you're thinking, what are you even talking about, Micah? Why are you saying this is a budget? And it is an absolute budget item. Trust me, I looked at it on Amazon, I was shocked about the how low the prices were for saunas. The little personal saunas are very inexpensive. Of course, you can go and grow from there to really elegant backyard saunas, but really a sauna can be at every budget level, and I want you to know that it's a fact. But I love my backyard sauna. You might know from watching my channel, it's my little sanctuary of space for me, and I really do spend a lot of time so again, a sauna is my sanctuary. I love my sauna. It's where I go for my space. Of course, I have a whole family and none of them take a sauna with me. So you can do a sauna if it's something you personally like. It's just your area. It could be a one man, it could be a small two man, very budget friendly, and it could be a backyard destination. Like you will not believe, you'll love it. Peeping neighbors are in everybody's backyard, so we need some privacy protection from that. Lots of different ways for privacy at a lot of different budget-friendly costs. You can do a simple wood screen. Here's some examples of that. Again, it's a little bit of DUI, but really just go to Home Depot, grab the two by fours, grab the one by sixes, and you can build a very nice privacy screen for very low price. Or you can buy some metal privacy screens. Here's some examples of some metal privacy screens. Very budget friendly, very nice. Or of course, you can do just the classic planting. Now, when you think of planting for privacy, you don't have to think about a wall of privacy. It's amazing what a plant, one plant, one properly placed plant will do to give you just that little block from your neighbor. Now these plants could also go in flower pots and you can just put a flower pot, put a tree in, strategically placed, and all of a sudden you have a little bit of privacy. Some people do bamboo, even bamboo in a raised garden bed might be a good idea so you don't have to mess with the rhizomes too. And you can think about a small hedge. Those are all the different ways that you can do privacy at a very budget friendly level. Speaking of trending items, it would be backyard gardens, and you can definitely do this in a very small space. But a lot of people are just buying flower pots these days. You can even do elongated 10 bins, and you can turn that into a beautiful garden space of yourself. You know the price of these, you probably shopped for them. They're very inexpensive, and you can have a very nice backyard garden or patio garden. Now, of course, you can also do vertical gardens. Now, these are trending like crazy. Just go ahead and grab that flower pot, and then, of course, you can just 
put a trellis up, very inexpensive, and just let that garden grow, so to speak, at a very budget-friendly price. Budget-friendly outdoor theater? Yes. You can, will be shocked, and I want you to explore this because it's inexpensive and it's so much fun for the summertime. So yeah, do a little outdoor theater. You can get a screen. They're so inexpensive. I did this one, and you can see it here, for like $30. And then of course you can get a projector, very inexpensive these days, and you can have a beautiful backyard movie theater, invite the family, invite the friends over. So here's the screen. This is what you just saw me building. Uh, you can obviously see it does a great job. 22 bucks, I believe, on Amazon. I just framed it with PVC, as you saw. And then right below that is my little rig station there. This is an Epson uh, projector. And try to let you see that. And it's a home cinema 760 HD. Does a great job. Simple HD cable over to my PS3. And obviously this is extremely rigged up with the extension cord and everything, but you just, that's, you don't need a ton. And then we have the Sono sound bar that is connected with the optical cable to the Sonos PlayStation. And now that allows me to have speakers all around. So we have one, two, three speakers, and we can have more on the back side if we need to, because you can actually see that screen on both sides. And I'll show you that real quick. Ta-da! So you get to see it on both sides and have a very nice uh, movie set up and not have the killer um, damage to the pocketbook. Backyard theaters are the craze and you're gonna love it. Okay, talking about budget and lighting. I really want you to include lighting in your backyard and you can do this at a lot of different budget levels. In fact, the modern bistro light is inexpensive and beautiful. I include it in even the highest end landscape and they're very inexpensive. Or you can just do lanterns, grab a couple lanterns. Look, I have a lantern here with a candle. How inexpensive is that? How budget friendly is that? So think about lighting. Now, of course, you can go a little bit more grand. You can grab some of the solar items that are on the market. They're not my favorite. I'd prefer some of the stringed in, plugged in lighting options that we're talking about. But you could do true landscape lighting. Home Depot and Lowe's also offer those. All right, budget-friendly decor. If you just look for the sales throughout the seasons, they will be there, and you'll definitely see a sale come up. Now, what do I mean by decor? You got your outdoor chairs, you got your, your outdoor couches, you have your outdoor dining areas, which you n definitely need. You got rugs, I would strongly recommend a rug. You got umbrellas, please get some umbrellas. They just add a lot of character, a lot of color to the landscape, and they're also gonna give you some shade area. And then, of course, you can do it, because I told you, you need a fire pit. Grab some fire pit stools for around that fire pit. All right, so we got some bonus content in this budget video, and it's a backyard budget friendly hammock or swing. Take a look at what we were able to do here. A very simple hammock, very inexpensive. You can buy it on the internet, but it, again, it gives you a destination. Your kids are gonna be out there. Your families are gonna wanna go out there and just lay, or maybe you will, but you could also do some swings. Check out these swings, attach them to a beam underneath a deck or underneath even your home eaves, and now you have another beautiful destination at a very budget-friendly price. All right, so we're talking about budget-friendly backyards, but we also need to remember backyard is for living in. We're talking about backyard living, and we're talking about budget. Now, here's some different ways you can do that. I love games, and I love being with my friends and family in the backyard, and you can do this at a budget level. So think about uh, the games that you can buy. I really enjoy throwing cornhole. You can get some very inexpensive cornhole sets. All right, some other budget-friendly ideas would be bocce ball. You can do horseshoes, very inexpensive if you have the space. You can do badminton. You can do darts. I like throwing darts, and you can have a dartboard set up in the backyard. 
and it's very budget friendly and gives you a lot of entertaining. It takes up a very small footprint in your backyard as well. I also just love playing cards in the backyard. So just a little table and your decor table. And then you have the kids areas that you can build custom ones. In fact, there's, here's a custom one that we built. We did some tunnels in there. We did a little platform, a little climbing wall. So backyard kid areas can be a DIY project very easily, or you can buy some of the swing sets that are, the prices of those are obviously coming down all the time. Think about those kid areas in your backyard. So many different backyard budget items. In fact, a lot of times when you have a backyard budget, you have a smaller backyard space. So watch this video over here. It's all about small backyard design ideas, and we have lots of different ideas for you there. Enjoy.